Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable or configure the 4G LTE connection on your GLiNet router. Basically, GLiNet firmware comes with OpenWRT as a main component and then they already pre-installed all the kernel module and driver for the 4G LTE module. That's why the rivals or the configuration is basically plug and play. To get started, you will need a 5G or 4G LTE or 3G module, either in a USB form or either you are using the MPCIe module with a USB to mini PCIe adapter like what I'm doing right now. So after you have installed the SIM card to your module and then connect your external antennas, let's connect it to the USB port on the GLiNet router. After that, let's go to 192.168.a.1, which is the default IP for your routers, or your LAN management IP if you have changed it. In my case, I have changed the IPv4 for the GL's MT3000. That's why it has a different IP address. So after login, I can see that the module has been automatically detected. And right here, we can see my telco, which is mobile phone showing right here. We have the signal, we have the modem name and the email. So we can perform a manual setup or we can just click on the auto setup to configure it. Right now, you can see that we have no internet connection. So let's auto set up and let's wait for the connection to be established. Very good. We can see that there was some change in the background and the connection was the set phone. We do see the DNS level as well as the traffic statistic. So let me open speed test application and have a quick check. All right, let's go. And very good with just one antenna connected. I have around 16 MPVA download. And we can see that the traffic is being recorded right here. So Let's wait for the upload and see if the connection is good. Very well, for upload, we have a higher speed, which is 34 Mbps. I believe the difference between download and upload is because I only installed one external antenna. So I will try to install another antenna and we will see. So this is an overview of how you can install your 4G or LTE module on the GLiNet router. And beside the auto connection, you can disconnect and do the manual setup right here. So for the manual setup, you can specify the protocol, either a 3G, QMI or QCM, and the port, which is the device. So usually if you're using QMI, the device should be CDC WDM0. For the APN, usually the module or the system will automatically detect the APN from your telco. However, if it's failed to do, you will need to manually config the APN, the PIN, the TTL, which is the time to line and the authentication. So this one will be very useful if you're using some of the SIM card or telco that have a strict limitation of the hotspot tethering, then you may need to modify this one. So basically that's about the 4G LTE connection. And let's see right here, we can have the modern management where we can see the cell info. We can see the upload bandwidth, download bandwidth and the signal status as well as uh, RSI. So there are a lot of things you can see right here. And basically with this tool, you can also debug or talk to the modem. So it's automatically select TTY USB 2. And then you can send AT command to the routers. And then you can do some other things such as query the web info or the band status, which basically requires some knowledge. All right. 
we can see that the configuration and uses of the 4G LG module with GLI net router is very easy and basically plug and play. So I hope this video will be useful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.